I am delighted she's on the program. It is the lovely Emma Bunton. <laughs> Well, how lovely you look this evening. Thank you so a much. A vision in, uh, what colour is that? Duck egg blue? <laughs> I would say mint green, actually. Hey, what did you think of that uh, 1930s vibrator, Emma? Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know what? They've changed. I've got a little story, actually. I had, somebody bought me. <laughs> Hold on. I want to remember this one. <laughs> somebody bought me a very beautiful glass one. How nice of them. And my cleaner came out and actually put it up on the side as an ornament. There you are. <laughs> And my mum came round and said, oh, that's pretty, what's that? I was like, don't touch it, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't stir your coffee with it. So, so they what did she, she thought it was like a piece of sculpture. She did, she thought it was a piece of, you know, so she put it up on the side. And, and it's made of glass? <gasps> yes. Um, but presumably not a battery-operated item. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was the appeal. <laughs> um, you look fabulous. Thank you very much. Uh, Emma is now known only as Emma, not Emma Bunton. Is, is this correct? Your recording career now, it's just Emma. Uh, some people, yeah. Some people, in my, on my album, it's just Emma. But, yeah. you know, most people know me as Emma Bunton. But you know. successfully shed the Baby Spice name. Yes, I have, actually, yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty easily. But the other women from the band, um, they, they kind of are still known. You know, you still think of Mel B as Scary Spice, I think. Especially when she talks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, love. <laughs> It can be a bit scary, but... Uh, and, and, you know, <laughs> posh is still, is always going to be posh. I suppose it's because people just love having that tag on her and, and she's yeah. kind of become more posh in a way. And when you see Mel C, you know, sporty, I suppose, I always think council estate, but, you know, you do think... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hair back, pushing a pram, you know? <laughs> pram fuss. You know what I'm saying? I watched that when you were on You actually said that to her face as well. well. Yeah, because I don't think that's a bad thing to say. Is that a bad thing to say? No. Okay. I don't think all. it is. Yeah. But you know, an old ginge is always going to be old ginge, isn't she? <laughs> she's like an old tomcat, isn't she? Coughing up furballs in the corner. Of the <laughs> she's like something out. Have you ever seen cats, Andrew Lloyd Webber? There's one called yeah, Old right. Mulligan Tawny or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Comes out at the end with a bag. You know, I always think if a part was made for a lady and a lady was made for a part, bingo, old ginge in cats. <laughs> by the by, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about you now. You sort of said the Baby Spice thing, yes. and now I can see you being just Emma, and that's a great thing to be, the one name thing, that's like real stardom when you're the one name, isn't it? Madonna, Cher, Sting, Hi. Churchill, <laughs> Noddy, you know what I mean, the big names, <laughs> you just need the one name, and I can see that working for you. Thank you, yes. And surprisingly, well not surprisingly, but what a really good album, sorry I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise. <Yeah. laughs> And I apologise. What I meant was, I, I thought it'd be for the kids, but I really liked it. <laughs> you see, you talk about vibrators, I lose the plot. <clears throat> the album's free me, it's out now, and I've been listening yes. to it. It's got a real kind of 60s sound to it. It reminds yes. me a little bit of uh, the albums that Astrid Gilberto made with uh, Stan Getz. It's got that kind of bossa nova, samba feel. Yes, it has, actually. I think um, the main thing for me, I was brought up with lots of Motown music, and... I just loved the energy of it, the passion in it, and I wanted to bring a little bit of that back into this album. And you know, I had great time in the studio. All the musicians came in, and we did it, you know, all very live. So it was it was really exciting as well, and I loved it. So this is what kind of came out of that, and I'm really proud of it. It's, uh, I've listened to it. I listened to it twice this afternoon. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Thank you. The track "Amazing" on there is really good. Oh, Who, who's that I singing on that with like you? That. It's a guy called Louis, and he's um, Latino, and um, he's he's massive in South America, but not here yet. Louis, is he Louis. operating on the one name basis as well? He is, is it just yes. Louis? Just he Louis. Is, that's why I picked him. Louis and Emma. <laughs> Emma and Louis, let's give you top billing. Um, well, another thing surprised me, and don't take this the wrong way, okay. your voice sounds very nice on it. <laughs> now, why are you about that? But what I mean by that is, the kind of conventional wisdom around the Spice Girls was that none of you but Mel C could sing. Okay? That was what right. everyone was sort of saying and feeling, wasn't right, it? Right, yes. And um, we've heard some of the other solo efforts and we began to think, yeah, maybe that's the case. <laughs> and then, but no, you've got a really pretty voice in this. Have Thank you had you. lessons in between Spice Girls and now? Well, I've, just... I've always had lessons right. um, since I was very young, actually. I, I think you have to train. You're, you know, like a sports person, you have to train every day. Keep your body limber. Absolutely. I do a downward facing dog every morning. Do you? <laughs> you ever seen one of those? No. <laughs> Well, I'm telling you, if you haven't seen one yet, you don't want to see me doing it. <laughs>
Especially not naked. No, not here. My wife walked in one morning, dropped the tray. <laughs> Especially, the, you've seen my balls, how hello they hang. You saw them once, didn't you? Don't you remember? <laughs> I'd have thought that would be a memory that wouldn't leave oh, you. I've seen your balls. Yeah, you saw my balls from behind, don't you remember? I did! Yeah, you saw <laughs> It was a comic relief and it was kind of oh, yeah, of course, an yes. impromptu moment. Yes, yes. <coughs> and it was relief in every sense for me. Now, <laughs> let's talk about the album. It's got a 60s feel the album. Also, the photographs of you in there, of course, you know, part of what you sell is your attractiveness and they do look spectacular. You look lovely in the photos. They're great photos. Hang on, that one's interesting because the styling on that one, shoes, check, yes, good. Hot pants, check, yes, good. Top, yes. Welding gloves, what's going on there? <laughs> All you need some goggles, you can go out smelting. They're driving gloves, very sexy leather. They're too big for you. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, look, they're too big. I know, because I've got several pairs I've of driving gloves in many hands, shades. I've got actually. Yeah, I have got quite small hands. Now, there's been a suggestion that your legs have been stretched in the photograph. Do you know what? The photographer was fantastic. He knew how to shoot exactly the right way and made them look very long. And also, you know, I work out a lot before um, I do a video or a photo shoot and then I go straight back to pasta and eating. <laughs> so when you're picking out, what do you eat? What's the worst thing for you? Is it pasta? Is it I chocolate? I love pasta. Ice cream? I love dessert. Some of the dessert girl. Favourite biscuit? Uh, I would have to say a hobnob. Yeah, oh a man. A chocolate hobnob. Oh, you know what? We're made for each other. <laughs> yeah. Not for a long-term relationship, but meaning <laughs> a meaningless superficial bang. <laughs> followed by biscuits. Bingo! Absolutely. Now, boyfriend. Okay. You're, are you single now? You're not single? You're with that guy from one of those bands like Blazing Squad or Busted or something, <laughs> one of these kids' bands. That fella there, look at him, he's like 12. He looks like he works in the car phone warehouse. <laughs> I swear he sold me a mobile phone about you. <laughs> you could Jonathan, do better. He's I'm my telling. friend. Well, what, is, he your fella, is he your boyfriend now? Is he the fella who's... Uh... Do you know what? We've been hanging out and having fun, and I think there's always so much pressure on a relationship. We're, we're kind of just hanging out and... You know, going to the cinema. That, that, that's not true. I tell you why. You don't just hang out with people you used to be boyfriend, girlfriend with. That doesn't work that way. Yes, it Why? No, it can't. It's impossible. Because it doesn't work that way. You know that as well as I do. So either you're still with him or you're not. Now tell me the truth. <laughs> I want an answer now, Bumbum. I am. I'm. I'm seeing. We're having. We're hanging out. You had a fling with Justin Timberlake, didn't you? You, you had a one nighter with him. Is that right? <laughs> no. You did, didn't you? I heard this to be true. Submitted for your consideration? We... Number one. <laughs> we, we hung out and had and partied a bit and he was very sweet. He spoke about this first because otherwise I would not have said Fine. a word. And no one is saying you're speaking out of term. No one is calling into doubt the correct upbringing you received from your parents and indeed okay. you're a lady uh, whose decorum <laughs> and manners are above question. <laughs> but you and Justin... <laughs> as they say, that's catching on, isn't it? <laughs> hey. Well, congratulations, well done, because he's a sought after catch. <laughs> nice for you as well, you had a pleasant time? Does he call? Does, very, he do, does he do what we call the aftercare? <laughs> you know what I mean? Phones up afterwards, is everything all right? He's very sweet. Good, I'm pleased to hear it. <laughs> you're a great catch, though, this is what I don't understand. You're a great catch because you're a beautiful young woman, you can sing, you've got a career going on, you seem very personable. I, I, I've met you several times, you always seem very charming, you seem very pleasant, you love a chocolate hobnob. I do. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and you've got a lot of cash, presumably, because all the band did well, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, now, is that a problem for you, in so, so far as if uh, someone wants to walk out with you, go on a date with you? Do you have to factor in, okay, is he because I'm ex Spice Girl? I think I'm very wary of, of men that come up to me. I think I have to be very careful. Because um, you either get the really confident guys that come up to you in a bar and are all very, you know, all over you, or you just get the ones that don't bother because they're too scared. And, and they're the, presumably the ones you'd be more interested in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I kind of, um, I, I believe in fate and I think that, you know, one day that person will come up and it will be right. And But generally at the moment I go out with my girls, we're really naughty and, and just muck around and, you know, I think that's a bit intimidating. Yeah. The album, Emma, as I said, this doesn't sound like any awesome, but it's surprisingly good. Thank you. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It's really good. Uh, some great tracks on it. Is the current single Maybe, or was that the last single? That was the last single. Okay. Next single coming out is going to be at the end of May. And what's that going to be? It's going to be called Cricket Sing for Anna Marie. I like the one. It's the one about your cousin comes, your mother comes, your brother comes, your yeah, sister comes, and I your think cousin you comes, should, you know, because, Yeah, I've heard you can sing. We should do a little thing. No. <laughs> Let's have a look. This is a clip of uh, the last single, Maybe, and I thought you looked loving this. It's a great video. This is Emma in Maybe. Love isn't funny when it's gone in the side. When all you think of 
is how to get through the night And when you want it, it's just a game that you play And when you get it, they're gonna take it away Maybe it's nothing, maybe it's all just in my mind Maybe I'm foolish, maybe it's just a waste of time Emma Bunton, uh, the hardest working ex Spice Girl I know. Congratulations on the success of this album. You very much deserve Thank it. Thank you so uh, much. Good luck with the next single. Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Bunton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was lovely. Thank you so Emma much. Susan. Oh, Thank you for coming on. Take care. Well done. Lovely Emma Bunton.